So welcome back to uh, part three and uh, point five here, fixing JDBC connection strength by using environment variables in IntelliJ and Amazon uh, Web Services. And um, as you probably remember in one of the, the previous uh, installments, I think it was in, um, in number two here, uh, we actually tried to, uh, to run our web application and we didn't succeed because uh, the web application was not able to communicate with the database uh, yet. So, um, and uh, when we built our uh, web application in this, um, I'm just gonna find it here in the data layer, DB user, um, we, we set up a JDBC connection and it was set up as a local host and uh, of course, when we uh, deploy uh, using the WAR file, when we deploy this to Amazon Web Services, uh, this one is no longer valid. It, it doesn't really work because uh, the, the database on Amazon Web Services has its own, um, has its own address. So we got to find a more uh, clever solution to do this. And there's also another thing is that we don't really want to uh, expose our uh, username and password uh, directly in the source file because when we push this to, uh, let's say, GitHub, then we actually make this public to the whole world and we're not really interested in that. And uh, so, so we need to come up with a, a solution that can take hand of, of both things that we wanna make it uh, more secure. And also we, we wanna have some flexibility uh, in terms of uh, changing the connection string when we move from uh, the, local, uh, the local host to uh, the Amazon. Uh, web services beanstalk uh, environment and uh, the way it's done on uh, uh, in IntelliJ one way we can do it is to use what is called environment uh, variables and uh, and the way it works is that if we go to the edit configurations for the Tomcat server there's something called uh, virtual machine options and these are uh, parameters that we can send to uh, to the virtual machine when the application is launched and then we can actually uh, request these uh, environment variables from directly from the java code itself and i'm just going to uh, show you how it works and uh, then i think it will be pretty clear to you how it works so i move in here to this uh, vm options and uh, then i have prepared in in advance uh, i have uh, prepared a, a connection string here and uh, let me have a look uh, this one here it's a bit long and uh, the way uh, the way this connection string is uh, I'm just gonna paste it in here and the way this one is uh, constructed is that uh, we have this uh, slash D parameter and then we have a, a key called JDBC connection string equals and then this is the connection string itself and this one points to as you might see here uh, amazon web services port 3306 uh, the database called the web app tutorial the user called root and the password web app uh, 2017 um, and uh, if, if i i can show you why that's the case if i go to the uh, elastic beanstalk, uh, beanstalk and uh, i go to the the database here we go then uh, this here is uh, is actually the the connection string directly to uh, to the database and the username was root and and then as you remember the password was uh, web app 2017 so this is how i actually construct here uh, that this is the the URL to the database and the port and then the name of the database and then user equals root password equals this so this is one string uh, that can create the connection and I say then okay I will uh, I will put an example of this connection string in uh, in the YouTube video below so you can check it out but when when you're going to uh, create this string yourself uh, of course this uh, URL is going to be unique um, it's going to be unique to your database 
whatever that one is so you have to exchange this for the one that matches yours and uh, and you can you can get it from there exactly there in um, in your version of the database okay so I say okay and uh, and again I type okay here so now I want to uh, instead of uh, instead of just exposing all these data here I actually want to um, make it in a different way and also I have prepared some some code here I just can can paste in into my Java code so instead of just setting the connection string here uh, I want to comment this one out and then instead I will paste uh, this text in here so I will have a string called DB URL and then this uh, method called get property will will actually uh, uh, pull the environment variable with this name here JDBC connection string and uh, as you remember in here that's the name JDBC connection string so So this get property will will uh, will fetch that uh, value, and then uh, instead of this old one here, uh, I can just say connection equals, and then I use this variable db URL, and then we're all uh, good to go. So then uh, all uh, these one up here are actually obsolete now. Uh, I don't need to to use them anymore, and uh, the same is true with this one. So it's the freeze variables that they are no longer necessary to use. So if I compile this and I deploy it, then I will I will be running uh, directly on the Amazon uh, Web Services database that I created there instead of my local one. And uh, let's try it out. I will say redeploy. And then I will restart the server. Okay, let's see if it works. So I will use my test password. I say login and it actually works here. So now the question is, uh, am I using the local database or uh, am I actually using the one on Amazon? And uh, we can pretty easily figure that one out. If I uh, if I go to the workbench and I go to the Amazon version and I open my table users table, and then I instead of having test, we call it test. Um, we could call it demo. Okay, and I apply. So now I have changed uh, the password on uh, on this particular uh, username. Maybe it's not that convincing. Maybe I should instead uh, make a new user. And then I call this one demo. Okay. Apply. Right. And in my, uh, in my local database, I haven't changed anything. I only changed it in my Amazon instance. So if I go to uh, the, app the application here and I will run it again, then I try, I say JB at KODK and I say a demo. And then I press login. And now it actually works here. So uh, this is the proof that uh, the, c the connection is now pointed towards uh, the Amazon version of the database and is working there now. So uh, the last step now is that I, um, I need to uh, set up the environment variable in, uh, in Amazon uh, so it works in, in the same way. And uh, if I go to uh, Elastic Beanstalk, click my environment configuration, then in this part called software configuration, just click this one 
go to the button and here you have the environment properties and uh, there's already uh, one here called JDBC connection string so um, the only thing we need is just to paste it in here and, uh, and if I go to my um, I can go to the place where I typed it in here before then the string itself is starting with JDBC and then it ends there so I don't want to have the quotes then I go back and I paste in the string here okay I say apply and I do it once more and then it says Elastic Beanstalk is updating your environment and it takes a little while so I will pause it great so now my uh, environment has been updated and the the environment variable should actually be um, be available from my java code so i go back to um, i go back to intellij and um, instead of just comment this one out i actually want to remove it and i will remove this one as well clean up refactor the code a little bit okay this one also we don't need yep so now my code my um, my java code is cleaned from uh, from login credentials which is a really good thing and then we use the system get property to pull out the environment uh, variable so uh, the last thing i need uh, before i can i can uh, test whether it works on amazon is that uh, I, I will save this and then I need to um, I need to update all the classes and I want to redeploy it so now I get all the code in, in production and uh, it will be updated and then as the very last thing I want to make sure that I build my artifacts and I want to build uh, all artifacts I want to make sure that I, I did it built. Okay, so now this war file should be updated. And um, and I can always uh, I can always make an extra check that I actually got it updated. So this is uh, the time right now. So if I go to uh, to the folder uh, web app tutorial out artifacts war then the war file is updated uh, one minute ago so i think we are uh, in good shape here so i'll go back to uh, to amazon and uh, the only thing i need now is to uh, upload and deploy the new version and uh, i'll choose a file there open and uh, then i will make a new version and uh, now I will say using en environment uh, variables and then deploy and this will take a little while so I'll pause again yes so uh, I'm back now and a few minutes later and the whole uh, web environment is updated and we have our new uh, version uh, deployed here and now the way I can um, I can check it out is to click the URL and this is my new application running and uh, I want to go to the login.jsp and now the exciting uh, moment is coming let's try the new one here jb at kdk and I'll type demo as a password I will log in and yes it works so now my uh, my web application is running fully on uh, the elastic beanstalk uh, on this um, on this URL here let's try just for the sake of it and, and, uh, and type JB and I'll type let's say test just like a, a wrong password and then it it doesn't validate it uh, as correct so I can also use my old here and the password is test well. uh, 
I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think I I think I figured it out. If I go to the workbench, I actually changed the the password to demo. So let me go back here and say don't be at Kia DK demo, and now it works. So. Um, I think we actually are at the conclusion of this uh, of this bunch of tutorials, and uh, now we have our small uh, web application up and running on the Amazon Beanstalk. So uh, the next stage here would be to um, to develop further this whole web app, go to IntelliJ. But now we have set it, the whole thing up, so we can just uh, program along, and uh, and then we can deploy it very easily now that we have set up the whole thing. I think the only thing I wanted to uh, to change for for future because now I'm I'm only running on on this Amazon uh, database directly, and uh, it's not really good to run directly on the production database. So what I what I would do would be to uh, to go to IntelliJ, and then go to the Tomcat configuration, and then I want to change this VM option. Uh, I would change this one. Uh, to the local host uh, instance inst instead of so I could run on, on the local database instead so um, so that would be the only thing I would change uh, to set up this whole uh, development environment and then we have the deployment uh, environment on Amazon Web Services so I hope this was uh, of help and uh, that you got success by making everything work and then uh, good luck from here thank you very much for your attention